I just made the catch ran to the fence. How do they always get the web jumps against us, man? <laughs> We're still missing Tom Brady, bro. I don't know where that man's at. He's supposed to pitch. Guys, breaking news. We just got a free agent. Third base coach right now. We got Regina. Regina Cappuccina. <laughs> I'm the greatest of all time. Yeah. They thought I was fast, bro. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Tom Brady throws one over the guy's head. He hit a bomb off the I got you, George. Had some things to say. It's not that serious. What is up, guys? Your boy Sinkin is back at it again, guys. We are here for another Valley Boys game, baby. We're facing the ballers today. Everybody's kind of trickling in. Wait, Thomas, what's the deal with this team, bro? Guys, I think today we're playing the All Star team. Everybody's wearing their own jersey, so they had to. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? They had to assemble the, the All Stars to beat the Valley Boys. We're going to compete. You know, they look like a cool group of guys, so shout out to them for coming out and we're think just going to have some fun. Think we're in trouble? Yeah. Well, the other team over here is not the team I remember. They got quite a few ringers out there today. Not a single player is dressed in the same uniform. So we mercy them last time, so I, I understand. That might pose a threat. There's some big boys, but I'm just going to swing out of my shoes regardless. What up, guys? We got hooked up by Velo Shades. Little, little Valley Boys Velo Shades collab. Hooking up the boys, bro. Look at this, man. We got our whole team freaking hooked up. Right now, you know, we going with the white fire. What do we got for you, Dante? I got the blue ones. I think they're the cutters. They even put my name on there. Look, how thoughtful of them to put my name. Large cutter, white ice. Velo Shades, we love you. Thank you. Bro, we got a little slam edition. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let's yeah. see him on right now, bro. Okay, okay, there we go. I can't even see me. It's so bright outside, but I'm sure I look fire. Velo <laughs> Shades. It's hot today, man. I'm already sweating. Know, it's it's going to be so gross. Your forehead's shining, bro. Is it? Yeah. I'm hoping we don't play nine innings. It's too hot for that. We need a mercy, I think, in five or six. I'm not playing nine. If I have to catch on nine, I might shoot myself in the face. We're at two down. We're going to get all the way down. We're, we might get all the way down by the end of the game. It's pretty hot out here. What's the Valley Boys doing out here? Valley Boys doing very well, yeah, we're man. ready to run against y'all. Take it easy, though. What's up, Steven? What's up, man? Oh, what's up, uh, Steven? Yeah. Where's Steven? <laughs> Steven's over there warming up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what's up, man? What's your name? Andrew. Steven, nice to meet you. I'm a different color too. Chopping it up with the other team for you games. <laughs> We're gonna get one of those. What, the jersey? Yeah. Are you want a jersey? Yeah, I, I need know. some of those. Comment down below if you guys want us to drop. I need that drip all the way. Put in the comments if you want the Valley Boys jersey, we will put them on the store. So hard. Drop it in the so comments. Hard. Maybe it's really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, nice meeting you, Matthew. You, Good luck today. Shout yourself on the vlog, bro. All right, follow me on Instagram, Drew42 underscore. Everyone, make sure y'all go cop some Valley Boys merch. You know, hey. we out here getting the work every single day, no matter who's looking and who's not looking. Yes, sir. We're always working. Hell yeah. Hey, Valley Boys up, baby. Let's get Forever. it. Boy. Let's go. Valley Boys oh, and the other team, man. Dude. It's a movement, boys. Get your Valley Boys merch. We have hats. We have shirts. Support the boys if you're watching this video. I know you want to join the movement. Go for it. Valley Boys out shop, baby. Bro, we got Alec rolling in right now. What hat did you bring, man? That, that ain't the Valley Boy. <laughs> hey, Guardians, it's still the Indians. <laughs> Last week I pitched. I had to pitch the whole game because we didn't really have anybody else. So my arm has been killing me all week, but now I'm ready to go today in case I gotta do the same thing. So I wanna play first. <laughs> Wait, why, bro? I wanna play left field. I wanna play first, baby. Come all right, well, there. Tom Brady ain't here. So, right. coach, is that okay Wait. with you? Yeah, we'll give Tom Brady a few more what? minutes. <laughs> oh, can you trade with me? <laughs> okay, and let's see if Tom can play outfield. Yeah, play. I know you can play outfield. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be the shortest first baseman on the man. We got the world's shortest first baseman. Guys, we got Regina here. Can you give us a score prediction? 21 to 3. 21 to 3? You think we're gonna uh, mercy it by the fifth or what? Wouldn't make sense. Due to recent trends, but you never know. This is a whole new ballers team. I don't know if you noticed. We haven't played any of those guys and we played them before. I stand by my prediction. <laughs> yeah, okay. Regina thinks we're gonna win, boys. So we got to now. Let's get it. Nick, you're looking a little different. Yeah, I'm feeling better than normal. Yeah. I guess the beard was pulled me down. I'm more aerodynamic today. Yeah. Lighter on my feet, a lot more purpose. My brother showed up a little different today. It's looking like he's a little cooler. He's got cooler sunglasses, a little less chest hair. Nick looks instantly taller, more athletic, more handsome, more more funny, and more cool. So I this is Nick 2.0. I don't I don't know what happened if you know he was just in the lab all week or what, but I like what I see. Yeah, Nick looks different. He's a lot taller, a lot less hairy. Um, I mean, if he's anything like Nick, he's gonna do really well. Probably win MVP. Looks a little different today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think he's way cooler. Everybody likes him a lot better. Everyone likes him way better than old Nick, man. Old Nick had a big old scruffy beard, all kind of weird and stuff, but. Why'd you shave? Felt like it. Dude, you're so cool. Thank you. All right, Nick going out to warm up with Pops. Okay. Just a little father-son time. Looking a little different. You got a little taller. Yeah. It's always good to have family bonding. Oh. This guy's dope. I like new Nick. He's changed a lot for the better. We're playing the Avengers. 
They brought together all their boys, like, different unis, just say, hey, who knows how to play baseball? They put a Craigslist ad, $20. If you've played uh, Juco and up, please come defeat the Valley Boys. Cooler Nick, how are we doing, baby? You ready for your debut? Yeah. You look less hairy than the last time I saw you. Yeah, it just all fell out. Also, <laughs> way taller, way handsomer. Yeah, been eating Way right. cooler, dude. Thanks. I love to see it. I love to see it. I guess someone pressed the update version of my brother. I don't know. I guess he ain't part Wookiee anymore. <laughs> yeah, we got Alec playing first, bro. <laughs> Wait, what the heck, dude? Right here, baby. Come on. <laughs> We're still missing Tom Brady. Not sure where that man's at. I'm gonna call him right now because the home team's taking the field. We have to hit right now. Dude, this guy's like at least 35. throwing meatballs at us. I'm a first pitch swing because it's hot and I really don't want to stand there in the box for more than like one minute. That's valid. We're still missing Tom Brady, bro. I don't know where that man's at. He's supposed to pitch. Tom Brady. Not here. All right, Cool Nick. I guess he's got to gotta play. We, we had Cool Nick DHing, bro. I guess we'll have to make do. I mean, good thing we got a medic just catching, strapping it up. 400 degree heat. We better not play nine innings today. Got to keep it to five. Mercy hey, and five, guys. Let's hit some doubles, bro. Doubles? Oh, and I'm a single man. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Valley Boys. Now let's get it, baby. I just made the catch ran to the fence. Hey, that's the Valley Boy, bro. That said, what's up before the game? Tip of the cat, bro. Dude, how do they always get the web gems against us, man? <laughs> this is crazy. I can't even run out here. It's too hot. I'm just gonna casually saunter out there to second base. All right, go for it. We got Tom Brady in the hole, uh, putting on his uniform, right? Bro, we got Tom Brady up in here, dude. Getting ready. Going straight from golf or what? The 4th of July. <laughs> Freaking Tom Brady. Guys, breaking news, we just got a free agent, uh, third base coach right now. We got Regina up there making sure we know what's good on the base path. Regina Cappuccina. <laughs> she knows. So with Regina as our new third base coach, you know, Minnick had to hit a hard ground ball that ended up getting past the shortstop. He ended up getting aggressive with it, ended up stealing a base, and Gio absolutely got into this ball right here and was just out of the reach of the left fielder. So Regina had to wheel Chris Minnick home and ended up scoring a run. Tom Brady ended up getting hit by a pitch. Uh, yeah, just skimmed my boy. Cool Nick clutched it up with the base knock up the middle. Gio was rounding third and going to home. And there was a play at the plate. Yeah, ended up getting hosed. But Regina had to send him and test the throw. Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta work on that. Wait, Gio, you just got hosed, bro. Yeah. They just thought I was fast, bro. <laughs> Regina oh, sent no. you? We need to work on that. I should have known not to go there. <laughs> do I score? Do I score? Do I score? <laughs> Yeah, go. <laughs> I guess Regina just needs to know her players or something. I don't know. First time, and I think that I'm the greatest of all time just from my one inning. And then I'm like, I'm too good for this. And then I left. What's up with that, bro? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> it's her debut, though. It's her debut. Because my brother's replacement was too good at baseball, he decided to play some chess in the dugout. Yeah, I've never seen that before on a baseball field. But at least it looked like he was winning the game. Say something smart. Math. 
Then his name changed in the lineup from Cool Nick to Smart Nick. Good ass chess player is what I've been seeing. He was playing chess in between innings, like he just is so much cooler than Nick. What an intellectual. Then Dante hit a puff fly and the second baseman caught it, but ended up rolling on the floor. Oh. oh. Dude, oh <laughs> it's like full on the floor. Hey, Sunday league. Well, I gotta give him that one, dude. Then for some reason, our shortstop hopped on a phone call mid-game. What is Jake doing right now? He's just, <laughs> just on a phone call? Like, guys, he's playing shortstop. Wait, <laughs> And then now we got Andy at short. We were winning by a lot in this game, but then Gio gave up a meatball and this happened. Yeah, he absolutely destroyed that ball onto the tennis courts. And Tom Brady wanted to face him when it was his turn to pitch. Guys, that was an absolute bomb, probably for this ball we've seen hit off of us all year. For this bomb we've even hit all year, bro. That was with the Woody 2 onto the tennis courts. The ball was smoked. He may or may not be Yasiel Puig. We don't know. He's from Cuba. Yeah, he had a nuke. He had a ball onto the tennis courts. I mean, we haven't seen that since, I think, week one, so. Then it was time to strike back. Jake Bear decided to steal a base, and uh, the cameraman missed my extra base hit. He got me absolutely hustling to make it a guaranteed double and then i read the throw it was a little bit off so uh you know i had to stroll into third got my foot in there man had to do what i can to pad onto the lead we were going for the mercy roll because uh yeah it was really hot thomas keller hit a hard line drive scored me for an rbi and hustled right into second base chris minnick hit a pop fly and uh yeah as you can tell he was a little sad from that geo got plunked but uh yeah he found a way on base that's a team player and a half right there tom brady unfortunately struck out yeah r.i.p andy wasn't pleased but uh yeah that wasn't the worst strikeout we saw Gio threw a curveball to my boy on the other team. I broke back in there for a strike, and uh, yeah, I guess he thought it was a fastball coming at his head and didn't see that it landed back in the zone. Yeah, it happens to the best of us, but unfortunately, he thought it was a ball, so uh, yeah, he didn't know he struck out. Then the umpire told him the news. That's a curveball, mijo. What happened on that strikeout, bro? I thought I was going to hit him, broke inside. Strike three, baby. <laughs> that guy's never seen a 3,200 RPM slider. <laughs> he thought it was a ball, too. Sometimes, you know, you see things you've never seen on the ball. Field. <laughs> <laughs> this man's just drinking an icy right now. He's got three cameras on him. Then Nikki's replacement ended up getting his second hit of the day, proving that he's the better Nick. Wait, bro, the lineup just changed. That's that's better Nick. <laughs> this guy's got two hits. Two hits. <laughs> hey, our boy, better Nick. <laughs> Had a good performance from uh, Cool Nick, Better Nick. He's my MVP. Better Nick is far superior, taller, handsomer. I, I like what I see from him. After Better Nick's single, Alec ended up hitting the ball over the center fielder's head. Center fielder had a nice jump. Then Better Nick trotted his way over to third in his uh, two sizes small cleats. Andy Reyes hit a piecer to left field. Ended up scoring two runs. Then I guess a guy in the stands was chirping me. He called me college boy. Oh, college boy! Yeah, in the moment, I was so locked in, I didn't even hear it. And hit a ball pretty hard right to the shortstop. But, you know, what could you do chirper's gonna chirp you know guys we're the valley boys we expect to get chirps we're filming this content for you guys so make sure you guys like comment subscribe what the heck is going on here <laughs> little otb chess dude are you winning at least i'm actually up on material if we're being uh the game is not over what is going on right? next though <laughs> checkmate i guess then tom brady came into the game he let this ball slip behind the batter and that guy that was chirping ended up getting a little aggressive hell yeah i know where you park it's a warning <laughs> warning warning you better not talk like shit like that huh I got you short. Talking like that, boo. Hills, yeah, Jake was just minding his business that short. He had no idea what the heck the guy was talking about. And then they rolled this ball up for a double play. Unfortunately, only got the out at second. But it's all good because Tom Brady threw some gas for the third out of the inning and got a strikeout. Then we had to ask the boys what they thought of the guy that was chirping. He chirped like the birds in my ear. So I was like, oh, Tom Brady, no, no connected to focus. He talked too much. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just boozing last night or something. They were boozing. Came, came they were... fired up. You guys just got outplayed. Sorry, man. Live reaction, I actually don't know what happened. Tom Brady throws one over the guy's head who hit a bomb last night. And as a joke, I'm like, that's a warning. Like, to Tom, like, to my own teammate. And the guy's like, whoa, what are you saying? I'm like, bro, it's my teammate. Like, I'm just making a joke. Like, no one got hurt. And he's like, this ain't Woodland Hills. He's like, obviously looked up where I went to high school. It's not that serious. Oh, so, yeah, I think one guy was uh, just was a little too thirsty during the game and couldn't handle it and, you know, had some things to say. You know, he's a fan, so I guess. You gotta let him do that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. We just gotta not respond to that, so. It's a friendly Sunday league game. There's really no place for that, but I'm good. All love to them. Hopefully we don't have that happen again. All right, we got Dante up. Oh, it's looking a bomb. <laughs> yeah, RIP to Dante. Then the boys kept playing chess. Guys, I guess their game's winding down. 
<laughs> I'll do a little checkmate. Could have gone either way. I think the real Nick might have had me. Oh, this guy just came in throwing heat to the backstop. He <laughs> it. Andy ended up walking even though the pitcher was throwing fuzz and it didn't matter to Jake because he absolutely barreled a ball opposite field just out of the right fielder's reach where he ended up just chilling for a double score and two runs. Then I absolutely barreled a ball up the middle for a nice single tacking onto our lead. Still going for the mercy rule. And yeah, I had to flex the Valley Boys. Of course, you know, had a little pickoff attempt and then had to, had to get a little whip for you guys. Because at that point, my brain was needing some water. Eep. Yeah, Minnick was going delusional. It was the bottom of the ninth. Thomas had to close it out. Gave up a pop fly to me and right. Thomas struck out the last batter of the game and the Valley Boys ended up taking the dub. The score was 10 to 4, so we put up a lot of runs but couldn't quite get the mercy rule. Another Valley Boys W out here at the yard. We'd love to see it. Valley Boys and a half. I think I got sunburned on my whole body. We won. We did not mercy, so I'm pissed about that. I think I'm like one for five, something like that. Caught the whole game. So my thoughts are a little blurred, a little lightheaded. Not enough water, a lot of Capri Sun. All right, guys, we end up taking the dub. Let's freaking go. We got the man who hit an absolute tank, dude. What's good, bro? <laughs> From Cuba? Cuba. What's your name again, bro? Jungsil. Yes, sir. Hey, might be playing with the Valley Boys, bro. That was cool. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, he just hit a bomb off me. We need him on the team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you guys are shining, we play against you, man. Maybe maybe we'll scoop you for a Saturday game. Comment down below if you guys want us to bring Yassel on the team. What was the deal right now? What just happened? He wants to play for the Valley Boys, bro. He says that. He sees a lot of guys, you know, that ballers. He's basically said, I came out here from, uh, from Cuba and I'm just trying to play ball. You guys look like ballers. Like, you know, he literally just walked up to the park and saved one of the bags. No way. Yes, he wasn't on their team. Bro, what? He didn't even know anybody on the team. He didn't even know anybody on the team. As soon as he walked into the play, I'm like, oh, this guy's going to hit a ding dong for sure. And he hit over the only fence we have here. I mean, he looked like he was a ringer, but I didn't know he was a five minute ringer. Thomas, that thing is freaking gone. The post game snacks are. Pretty tough scene. If you want to help us out and buy some Velo shades, code Kinez. You can afford some better snacks at the end of the day. All right, P. Guys, I'm going to go with Cool Nick for MVP, man. Showed up and showed out. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video today. The MVP goes to Cool Nick. Let's go. Oh, hey, if we're getting two hits, love to see it, bro. Hooking up with the Velo shades. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got two hits, balled out, contributed to the win. What more can we ask for? Hope I can keep it up. Hope that I uh, don't regress into my old self, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, I think we need a one on one duel. That Nick with Nick. Nick's not gonna win. I'm gonna tell you that. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Peace. I think Tom Brady got too big headed, and instead of the goat, he was more like a donkey.